All right, I want to quickly show you how to get some cool fonts from Google Fonts, and I'm going to show you how to upload outside fonts to Canva. So I'm going to start by going to Google Fonts. You can just type in Google Fonts. And Google Fonts has so many different styles to choose from. So I really just want some unique fonts because Canva already has a ton of a uh, ton of different fonts, like probably over a thousand. I don't know exactly how many. But what I'm going to do here is sort them by the categories. So I do want to do handwriting because I want unique fonts to add to my different chalkboard signs. So there's also ways you can sort them by the thickness. You can choose if you want them slanted. You can choose whether you want them wide or narrow but I'm just going to look through a few and see which ones I like and I also want to make sure that Canva doesn't already have them so I do for some reason like this permanent marker font I'm going to make sure that Canva doesn't have it so I'm opening Canva clicking create a design and I'm just going to do 1080 by 1080 classic size if you want to write text click the T button on your keyboard and it'll bring up a little text box and you can write here permanent marker and let's just make sure that they don't have it so I click the text box and I'm just going to search and I actually already do have this font so let's see if they have any fonts that Google fonts doesn't have Okay, this rock salt one is kind of unique. So they don't have the rock salt font. I can confirm. If I search, it doesn't come up. So I'm going to show you how to download the font and upload it to your computer. So I'm going to click it. It does say one style. And so I open it up and you can kind of preview it. If you want to type anything in, you can type to preview anything and download family up here in the top right so i'm going to click that it is going to download to your computer i'm just going to open it up and you see this font file right here is the one you want so it's a ttf font from this screen we can actually go down here to upload a font or you can go up into your brand kit which is where it brings you and it'll show you everything you have and this is only in Canva Pro and then click upload font and we find that TTF font and click open yes upload anyway that just makes sure that you have permission to use this font and once it's uploaded it should show up in your uploaded font section this is the list of all the ones that I've uploaded from outside of Canva I'm going to refresh my design, so just click the little refresh, highlight this, and search for rock salt. And there it is, it's right there. I can resize it and it looks pretty good to me. So that's easy enough, you can download any Google fonts that way. Sometimes they will download in a zip folder, so the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to add fonts from different sites besides can besides Google fonts. I purchased a farmhouse font pack from the Hungry JPEG, so I'm going to show you how to upload that full package to your Canva account. So I purchased this. I saw a Facebook ad for these farmhouse fonts on this website called thehungryjpeg.com. So I just got them for $19 and I clicked on the email confirmation and now I want to download the files. So I'm going to download the bundle. It'll be just easier that way. All right, and once it's downloaded, it will show up in your download folder or however, wherever you saved it. So it's a zip file. It's already unzipped. So you can open the file up and there's the fonts here. The quick fonts is what I want just because that's all the file names. So going to sign into my Canva account here and go to, this is only on the Pro Canva account, so go to Brand Kit. I think they have a maximum of 100. 
I might be wrong, but at one point they did have a limit of how many you can upload. So I'm going to click upload a font and then find that download that I just did. Okay, it looks like you can only upload 20 at a time, so let's try this again. All right, and now they're all mixed in with the ones that I had uploaded before. I'm going to keep going with the rest of them. I know I stopped at Rustic Barista. All right, so all your fonts should be there now, and you can just browse through. If you see any that look super similar, you can go ahead and delete those just to save your space. All right, and so now when you go to create a design, all right, when you click the fonts, you should see the uploaded ones at the very top. So you can go through and kind of check them out. It's easy as that. And I will put the link uh, in my info in case you guys are interested in this font pack. It's super cute, and I've only done just like five of them here. Um, but anyways, if you like this video and you'd like to learn more about letters and lettering and chalk everything, give me a follow. Life by Whitney. Thanks for watching.